everybody, it's Kelly and I have another process video for you. I'm going to start out by using that darling um, sort of scattered star and kind of asterisk paper as the background for this layout. And that paper is from Echo Park Bundle of Joy. It's a sleep tight paper, which is completely appropriate for the name is completely appropriate for this layout. I'm going to back that on a piece of basil cardstock and just use that as a little frame. And then I have these four pictures of my great nephew from when I visited him last um, September to meet him. And he's sleeping, so that sleep tight is a perfect title for this. I had these four pictures because, of course, you know, he, I had just met him, and every time I saw him, he was way too cute when he was sleeping. At least, you know, that's what Green Aunt Kelly thought. So I didn't want to just scrapbook them individually because they're just pictures of him sleeping. So I decided to just do them as like a little photo collage. So now I have that um, journaling card there, and that's from a Pebbles Boy collection. That's quite a few years old. I don't remember what it was called, but I had just that little piece. And then I have that tag. That is from the Echo Park Sweet Baby Boy die cut uh, cardstock pieces. And then I did find this matching tag from the sticker sheet from the same um, Sweet Baby Boy collection. And it has the blue in it versus the aqua. So there's a little blue reinforcer versus the aqua top of the other tag. So I'm thinking about using that instead. Now, I have these um, thickers from Pebbles, this really pretty silver alpha. It's the Grayson alphabet. Um, I believe it was a collection from Pebbles one of the baby collections from Pebbles, but I don't have the name of it, and don't quote me on Pebbles either. So I have that word sleepy, and I think that'll be cute kind of to put that in by the um, journaling card down there. And I didn't, um, I, I'm pulling them off from the side, I didn't bring them over, but it's all sorts of baby related um, words or phrases in this silver foil which I love. I love gold foil. The silver foil looks awesome as well. And when I was scrapbooking most of his early layouts I didn't use a ton of these so I've been trying to make an effort to use many more of them although I don't have to worry so much because I do have a grandson um, due uh, this summer. So I will be able to use more boy layouts. <laughs> so I'm going to need to get some more boy paper just because I don't have enough of leftovers from this guy's um, newborn layouts, but I do have some leftovers. So I, and you know, I can incorporate like these chipboard pieces, whatever I end up not using would be working great. So I did like that die cut and it said something about good night or something like that, but it was too wide. So then I found this die cut from that Sweet Baby Boy cardstock pieces pack and this one says a baby is a blessing, a gift from heaven above, a precious angel to cherish and love. So I just thought that was a perfect little sentiment to go on this layout. And I also decided to go back to the tag versus the sticker. I just liked the fact that it had that teal color on it. it. The other one seemed way too white and I could have used my um, gray flannel ink here but I didn't. If I had done that it probably would have given more definition to the sticker and it would have been okay. Alright so I'm just going to get my title on here which is Night Night and it is something that we say in my family so that's important. We used to say it, um, my dad especially used to say that to all of us, which um, it, that's a, I didn't connect that until just now and what a cute memory. I can actually hear his voice in my head saying that when we were kids and even later on. And he's been gone 11 years, so what a sweet memory that I've had of him tonight. All right, so I cut off the kind of like notebook part of this journaling card just so that it wasn't distracting because I felt like it was distracting to have that line down there. And so I'll get the die cut um, tag and then also I'm 
you know, get the tag, the card and the tag situated there. And again, if I had used my Memento Do Drop, that would have um, made a difference in setting all of this off, but I just wasn't feeling it. Sometimes I just don't feel like using um, ink. It just takes more time, and I just wanted to get scrapbooking here. Sorry, guys, I'm a little tired, so I keep trying to stifle yawns here. I'm heading to bed in just a little bit, but I thought I'd get this voiceover done first, and um, that way I can get some of these processed for you. Okay, so I'm just going to get that arranged, and I'm putting them down, kind of using the um, bottom of the photo mat there as a line. I'm getting that on. Okay, so I have that down. So I have the definite structure and body. Now it's time for a little bit more embellishing. And I have these kind of um, die cut button pieces here. So I decided I want to use these and serve embellish. And I have three of them. So I'm not going to want to put them all on the bottom. I put two of them down there and then that other one up by the tag. That just gives a nice um, sort of, um, what I want to say, it's a nice roundness, I guess, in a, in a lot of uh, horizontal lines. Then I found this little die cut piece that says, eat, play, sleep, repeat, which is what the tag at the top says. And I thought that looked great at the bottom there. And I kind of overlapped it so that it was overlapping the cardstock background as um, well. And then I did just fishtail the ends of that. that. And I did it with the end that was going to be uh, facing away from the main part of the cluster. And then when I did that, it left a pretty big um, white space. So I'm moving that little subtitle there down a little bit. And that's appropriate for how I'm feeling right now. Kind of sleepy, right? All right, so I get that done. And I get the other piece up there at the top. Okay, so I need some twine for my tags here. I'll leave buttons without any fiber in them, but I don't like the tags without fiber in them, which is just kind of an odd thing, but that's okay. It is what it is. And that twine is some miscellaneous twine that I got wrapped on a card from my local scrapbook store. Um, oh, this is quite a few years ago now probably two or three years ago, at least. Okay, so I have that on there, and then, there we go, just getting a few things down here. Then I am going to add some enamel dots from the Echo Park Sweet uh, Baby Boy Adhesive Enamel Sheets, uh, shapes, sorry, not sheets. And that's what those are. And then I don't think I do this on camera, but I come back in um, the the um, that silver alpha has some stars, and I come back in and I add those in as well. But I don't think you're going to see that. I think I do that off camera. All right, guys. So I'm just about done. I have a still shot for you and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are all well, and I will be back with another layout again soon. Bye. Bye.